Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Adrian. It's Papa 50. It's Lana Day. And today we are looking for America. Now I have I have seen that motif um in a lot of places. So many places. I'm looking for America. And I'm like, you're here, man. Just go walk down a street. You you've got it. We are in my context, because I live here. We're all Americans. This is us. I, uh, um, I understand that people are like, well, you know, there's this mythological dream that everyone's supposed to have. And it's like, I never understood the American dream um, to be one thing to all peoples. I've never thought of it that way. It never made sense for me. That, that everyone should have the exact same dream and it should mean the exact same thing. That flew in the face of everything I understood the United States to be. And it, tried, it, it, it for several years, it drove me a little nuts when people were like, I don't understand America. I was born here and now I'm 35 and I just don't get it. I was like, well, then you really should have been paying attention, man. <laughs> Pick up a freaking book, would you? But let's see what Lana's got to say about it, shall we? Like, share, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the Patreon at patreon.com slash supermachojedi night. Took a trip to San Francisco All our friends said we would try Didn't work, so I left for Fresno Oops. It was quite a scenic drive Pulled over to watch the children in the park to only worry for them after dark. Well, that's that's true. Me, um, when I was growing up, I'm an Xer, if you can't tell, because you know it's pop at fifty. I'm over fifty now. <laughs> if you didn't realize that, I'm an Xer, and uh, it's true. We were allowed out. Until the streetlights came on, and then it was time for bed. Of course, this was, strictly speaking, in summer. Because, you know, in winter in North America, you know, the streetlights might come on at, like, 4.45 or something, depending on how far north you were. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we only used to worry for them after dark, which was silly because people still got abducted left and right and got in trouble in many ways. All of my trouble happened during the daytime, so uh, they only didn't worry about me because they didn't know I was getting in trouble. So, <laughs> but I would love to go to San Francisco and Fresno. I'm still looking for my own version of America One without the gun Where the flag can freely fly No bombs in the sky Only fireworks When you and I <coughs> collide It's just a dream I had in mind Okay It's just a dream that was cool. It's just a dream I had in mind. I flew back to New York City, missed that Hudson River line, took a train up to Lake Placid. That's another place in time where I used to go to drive-ins and listen to the blues. I go to drive-ins and listen to the blues. I'm in I'm in New Haven. I don't get I'm near New Haven. You're not finding out my actual town. <laughs> so many things that I think twice about before I do now. I'm still looking for my own version of America. One without the gun. Dream I had in my mind. 
Fireworks when you and I collide is a fabulous line. Actually, this graphic reminds me a lot of several streets in New Haven. <laughs> that was a, uh, another great pseudo lullaby song. But, um, yeah, um, let me see. I'm still looking for my own version of America. And it's like, you bring it with you wherever you are and what your attitudes are and what your uh, philosophy of life is, you know. I don't know how to explain it any better or more clearly. That's just, that's our entire strength is that everyone believes differently and is, uh, <laughs> as long as we're not giant douchebags about it, we're all quite free to live that way on our own without intervention necessarily from churches or, you know, too terrible government interaction. I mean, if you're smacking your kids around too much and you consider that a family value, then the government's allowed to come in and tell you to stop doing that. It's just because you thought it was the way to go doesn't mean that on an absolute level that's actually true. And there are laws to protect people from people like you. So, <laughs> a pretty great song. A little short. Um, she didn't get too deep into it, but... Um, I feel that it's it's a great song otherwise, and uh, it's something that we all really got to think about, because responsible citizenship is, uh, it's the linchpin, it's the key, it's the driving factor of what this country is, and when you're not responsibly a citizen, all kinds of ridiculously bad things occur. Now, I'll come down off the soapbox and, and ask you to give me money. Um, <laughs> join the Patreon at patreon.com slash supermacho Jedi Knight. See, that's my American dream. Having a big enough um, YouTube channel or two YouTube channels, Jammer's Metal Mischief, to um, not work a real a full-time 40-hour job. <laughs> that, that would be amazing. If I could retire without having to eat, uh, you know, friggin' cat food and live on residuals from YouTube videos, then I would, in fact, die a happy man instead of the anxiety-ridden uh, pile of bleh that you see before you now. <laughs> Keep popping, babies. Oh, that's it, right there.